Hello, I'm Ann Clemente, a licensed real estate broker and a consent creator. Today, I'm going to share with you my current weekday routine and more importantly, I'll be sharing what I eat in a day. This is because consistently eating better increases our energy and mood to help us run a more efficient business. Plus have better client relationships. It also prevents us from experiencing burnout due to our busy lifestyle. So while it's very tempting to order food via food delivery apps, I make it a point to cook our meals. I get to control the ingredients I use and I can avoid cooking methods that add unhealthy fats. This leads to an overall healthier diet. I start the day by spending time reflecting on God's Word. It fills my mind with the truth about who we are, who God is, and how to become more like Jesus. The Bible also contains the guidance and wisdom that we need to live our lives. I know that some of you might think that it's an outdated book, but in Hebrews 4.12, we're told that it is alive and active. I then talk to God through prayer. Once I'm done, I drink glasses of water. We all know that it is important that we stay hydrated. I don't just drink water in the morning. I make sure that I drink water always. After drinking water, if I don't have a client meeting or a seminar to attend early in the morning, I try to squeeze in a home workout because healthy eating should always be combined with physical exercise. Exercising sets a positive tone for my day. It also gives me energy and prevents me from being breathless as I climb stairs, as well as when I go to different government offices when I process documents for my clients. There is actually a gym in my condominium building, but I don't go there to exercise. I just do it inside my condominium unit because we don't really need to go to the gym just to get a good workout. After my workout, I prepare and I put breakfast in the oven. My usual go-to breakfast is an egg in a hole because it allows me to simultaneously enjoy toast and fried egg. But the one I usually eat isn't a classic recipe. I put my own twist to it. On the other hand, my husband usually eat cereals. Morning is one of his busiest times of the day, so we don't eat breakfast together. While my egg in a hole is being air fried in the oven, I eat fresh fruit slices while I check and respond to my work emails. I always eat fruits before breakfast or any other meal because nutrients get properly absorbed. Eating fruits also boosts fiber intake, which prevents overeating. For fruit slices, I usually prep it the night or days before because it saves me a lot of time on a busy day. By the time I'm done eating fruits, my egg in a whole breakfast, which I air fry in my smart oven air fryer, is already cooked. I love using the air fryer instead of pan frying the classic egg in a whole recipe because I don't have to wash a pan and spatula for breakfast time and I also don't need to readily wash the air fry basket if I use parchment paper. I just also want to share that on weekends, that is the time my husband and I indulge ourselves with our favorite tocino. But instead of frying it in oil, I also air fry it so I won't experience oil splatters anymore. The oil from the fat of the tocino is also reduced because I can have it dripped. After eating breakfast, I then take a bath, change the work clothes, do a simple light makeup, and I would work. Ideally, I start preparing the ingredients for our lunch by 11 a.m. So lunch will be cooked by 12 noon, which is my husband's lunch break. But since time flies by fast when I work, the lunches I usually end up preparing are air fried too. So for example, I forgot to stop working at 11 a.m. and I started preparing at 11.45 a.m. Around 12.05 p.m., I'll be done cooking lunch. And I would have done more work while the food is being cooked. An example of easy to cook food that we eat for lunch is chicken, broccoli, and mushroom fry. So ever since we had the smart oven air fryer, it has become an essential kitchen helper for me. It can do so many things aside from air frying, but as you may have noticed, I use the air fryer function the most. I know I can continue working as well if I use the baking function since like using the air fry function, I just put the food in the oven. However, when we have a busy lifestyle, we need food to be cooked quicker. Preheating in a standard oven may take 15 to 20 minutes. 
Meanwhile, an air fryer can preheat in just 5 minutes. The air fry function's cooking time is undeniably faster than the baking function. Rapid air technology is used to create heat and super convection technology is automatically used which reduces cooking time by 30%. On the other hand, the heat in the baking function is just slowly dispersed. So, there is huge savings in time and energy for the air fry function. With air frying, I also just use a tiny fraction of oil if I want food to become more crisp on the outside yet moist and juicy on the inside. But honestly, I don't use any oil at all since I still get crispy and flavorful food. Whereas air frying is definitely healthier than deep frying, roasting, or sauteing, that is why it is the cooking function I choose frequently. I don't want a standalone air fryer because I still want to be able to do complex global dishes from time to time using different cooking methods. Anyway, going back to my daily activity, I would eat lunch, then it's either I or my husband washes the dishes depending on who is less busy. I will then go out if I have property viewings or I have to go out to government offices. If I have the opportunity to return home early, I would shower and change my clothes. And then I would make a comforting snack like air fried french fries with a flavorful dip. Air fryer truly lets me enjoy my favorite junk food without being guilty. I know what you are thinking, air fried foods don't taste like deep fried foods. Well, I don't necessarily disagree but it still is crispy and it still tastes great for me. I certainly will always settle for a healthier version of my favorite fatty foods. So I just eat my air fried french fries while I create content or edit videos on YouTube since by nighttime, I'm most likely busy talking with my clients. Between 6 p.m. to 7 p.m., I would start preparing dinner which should be fast to prepare and cook again because as mentioned, I still have meetings. I would cook cream dory filet with lemon butter sauce. It's my husband who usually washes the dishes at night. I would do meetings during nighttime because it's the free time of my clients. And then I would pray and go to sleep. Before I end this video, I would like to let you know that you can also try the dishes I mentioned here by clicking the link to the recipes in the description box below. I also have some tips for you when you are air frying. Tip number one, if you really still want oil when you air fry, invest in a kitchen spray bottle. Spraying oil on the food is easier than drizzling or brushing. It allows you to use less oil overall. Number two, don't overcrowd the basket. It's tempting to try to cook more at one time, but overcrowding the basket will prevent foods from crisping and browning evenly. So cooking time will take longer. Number three, pat foods dry before cooking. Air frying marinated food, for example, will make splatters and it will make the oven tedious to clean afterward, even if you use the roasting tray to catch the drippings. Number four, use parchment paper or tin foil for super messy food. If you're cooking food that will be super greasy, use a parchment paper or the tin foil on your air fryer basket for easier cleanup. Number five, clean the basket after every use. The basket of the air fryer is easy to clean, so don't put it off. That's my daily routine and what I eat in a day. I hope this video has encouraged you to prepare your own home cooked meals, and if you are already doing so, Elevate your cooking by also getting a Breville Smart Oven Air Fryer. If you would like to know more about it, I have another video discussing all of its cooking functions, accessories included with it, and I also did an unboxing. Again, I'm Man Clemente, a real estate broker and a content creator. Thank you for watching Own Property PH.